You know, those reunion shows, they're so lame, really. <laughs> that new line, the kumquat and the quail? You're amazing. Uh, yeah. You're really unbelievable, Larry. I'll, I'll do it. I'll You'll do, do it. it. Oh, that yeah. is amazing. Great. That's amazing. Really? Well, pulling it off is, is, there's two ways to pull it off. One is to actually be able to write the shows that address this premise in a satisfying way. And the other is to actually get the cast members to do it. Why would we do something like this? I mean, why is it, isn't it lame? A couple years ago, it was starting to rattle around in his head to do something like this. I was always game for it, just because we always had such a blast together doing everything. Next thing I know, you're going to be odd. You're going to be writing with me? Do you need some ideas? No, we're good. Because, you know, to some degree, I think we all kind of went, this is not a good idea. Can we even play these characters anymore? Is it going to look pathetic? Larry called me and he said, we would sort of do a reunion show within the show. So it's not really a reunion show. What reunion show? Didn't you tell him? What? And I thought Larry was going to call me to just ask me to be on his show. It was the way that they approached me. Listen, you're going to get a call from Larry David. Think Curb. It's really been way different than I thought it was going to be. I mean, even the writers of Curb, they didn't realize that we were going to bring the Seinfeld show this fully realized into a Curb Your Enthusiasm episode. The holy grail of the Seinfeld show was to never do what anyone would have expected us to do. This is really a surprising way of doing what is, in essence, a reunion show. And yet, it's, it's not Seinfeld. It's Seinfeld without being Seinfeld. It's the greatest possible way to do it because it's so, it's so bent. You know, it's not, it's not normal. It's just like uh, Seinfeld. Hey, George. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's like this ultimate ultimate version of what you could do, but nobody else would ever have this opportunity because Larry has this show, so that we're, uh, that's the only reason we're able to do this. Curb has a tone that is the perfect tone to do a reunion show. That is to say, you're not really doing a Seinfeld reunion show. You're doing an episode of Curb, and that's what this is. To come on the set and watch these guys come through the door, watch Michael Richards open the door and, you know, do his thing, it's really, it, it is a bit magical. Oh. Oh. You never want to be by the door. <laughs> <laughs> It was very confusing. <laughs> and then Larry enters with the verisimilitude of the world of Kerr that crosses paths with the world of Seinfeld. And that's never been really seen. This show within a show, it blends back and forth, so it's amazing. And then I'm sitting in the same uh, chair that I, I used to sit in during the readings. And then I don't know what show was on. Luckily, Jeff Garland is sitting next to me. Jeff Green. I don't know if it's Jeff Garland or Jeff Green. And then they say, we're rolling and cut. I said, is that a real cut? Or what show are we on? Are we on Seinfeld? Are we still doing Seinfeld? Are we on Curb? So it's very crazy, but I like that. <laughs> so there's a few different realities here. It's kind of like that Star Trek three-level chess board is happening here. We're looking at Seinfeld, The Reunion, written by Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld. You know, we've seen each other over there, so it wasn't like we were strangers. But the characters had not been tried on in 10 years. And... Well, I had my own acting to do. I couldn't really watch them because I was in the middle of a Curb episode while the Seinfeld reunion was being read. We know Larry David on Curb. Larry's now the writer-producer of Seinfeld. He's in that mode. He, he wants the lines, he wants the scenes to work like they should when we're doing a Seinfeld episode. Perfect. Just perfect. I've always loved Seinfeld, but their skill level is greater than I ever even imagined. Unbelievable. When we sat down for the table read, they're really doing a, a table read. And not only that, but they're like working on their lines, but they're not kidding around. You know what it should be? Oh, yeah. this line should be. He couldn't make it on the outside is what the line should be. Well, then, then I am talking about the guy. Bring it. They're not doing bits about how to make the scene better. They really are, like they can't help themselves. Made off! <laughs> Actually, when we were doing the table read, that was really us, because when we read some of those jokes, we were getting a kick out of them, so we were really laughing. <laughs> but when I'm screaming at Larry, 
and I'm screaming at him that he's an asshole because he left a ring on my coffee table. That's the pretend real version of me on The Curb Show. Does that make sense? <laughs> All right, see now. We're adding another chapter onto the series, which I would never have ever imagined could be possible. I mean, we're done with it, you know? We're just so done with it. And it's going to change now. It's going to actually have a new ending. <laughs> you know, we joke about it at the show, but I haven't met many people that were satisfied by our finale. I think real fans of the show will go, that's what I really wanted the finale to be, like this. Oh, oh that yeah. was so good. We just wanted to do the show and make it as funny as we thought it could be. It's, it's just been really strange and enormously fun. We're having a good time. We really are. We, we really had a great time doing it. Say goodnight. You will likely never see this again. Those walls are coming down, boys. Nice to see you, though.